projects here that will involve a considerable amount of welding, especially aluminum welding. Uh, I need to modify this fuel tank. This is the fuel tank for my uh, coil conversion Land Rover that uh, doesn't quite fit. This bracket here needs to be modified. Then I'm going to need to make a mirror image of this tank for the other side of the of the vehicle. I'm just going to have to fabricate uh, the whole thing. Um, then there are smaller tanks like expansion tanks uh, and, a, and a few other bits. So uh, I'm planning on uh, quite a bit of aluminum welding. And so I made this armrest. Uh, I forgot to tighten this knob. Um, I made this armrest to support the arm uh, that uh, is holding the TIG torch. So this is a practice aluminum box that I've been working on right here. And um, uh, you can see how it's fairly high off the table. I could pile up some stuff for a small box like this, but for a larger piece like this fuel tank uh, that I was just showing, uh, it, would be, uh, it would be difficult um, to have a continuous surface to support the arm. Uh, so this rest, uh, which I made out of shop scrap, um, should come in handy and of course it'll work something like this. Uh, it's height adjustable on both sides. It doesn't necessarily need uh, both sides to support the rest but of course it's sturdier uh, with both sides on a longer project and this is all made out of shop scrap so let me show you how I made it. So the two upright pieces I made out of um, what's called nominal half inch uh, Schedule, schedule 40 PVC pipe, correction, schedule 40 stainless steel pipe. Um, it comes like this. It's a nominal half inch pipe, which I'm of course using as a structural tube here. Uh, there's not a single dimension on this nominal half inch pipe uh, that's anywhere uh, close to half an inch. Uh, its outer dimension is about um, uh, 0.84 uh, inches and there's a lot of uh, this is a uh, mild steel uh, DOM tube uh, there's a lot of tube in just about any material uh, that uh, has an outside diameter of one inch and uh, 0 0.065 wall and this tube has the inside diameter that's exactly 7 eighths so the nominal half inch uh, in this case stainless, but I think there's uh, probably even a mild uh, steel tube like this, um, is uh, 0.84. And of course, 7 eighths uh, internal diameter of this pipe is 0.875. So um, if you don't have a lathe and you need things to uh, fit over each other and telescope, uh, this is a good solution. Uh, it's just loose enough to make a, to make a project like this um, um, uh, possible for uh, some telescoping function or some sliding function. Obviously, this wouldn't work as a as a as a bearing or some kind of a press in fit. So, uh, Schedule Forty uh, stainless pipe is um, fairly expensive. This is three sixteen stainless, so it's the most expensive. I had some left over. Uh, this looks nice because I went over it with a wire brush. Um, this is scrap uh, quarter inch stainless left over from my uh, deck foot uh, project. I have a steel deck behind my house with uh, stainless and galvanized steel parts. Um, this here uh, is, a, is a welded up um, thing. Um, these tubes on the end uh, is the one inch 0 0.065 wall tube uh, that uh, of course tel telescopes on uh, telescopes on this. I welded up some um, bosses to it and this is just made out of uh, the very common one inch uh, square tube. Um, and this section in the center, this chrome plated section that's shiny, is a um, leftover scrap piece of this oval uh, European closet rod uh, that I needed for a closet project recently. Um, 
the knobs are from uh, a woodworking machine. And so uh, by putting it all together, uh, I think I will have um, a comfortable, a comfortable place uh, to uh, rest uh, the TIG torch and my wrist at uh, the many heights, at the many heights that are going to be needed uh, to, uh, to weld up my aluminum tanks. As you can see, uh, this uh, project required some uh, pipe notching and some uh, pipe uh, coping. So here is how I did this.